What's up, YouTube? I am back again. And last night I got home and I saw a video on YouTube from Marcus Brown Lee talking about Apple AirPods being the best headphones he's ever used. Airphones for um, the iPhones or iOS devices, the AirPods, the ones that go on your ears, the little cigarette stubs. Now, um, he's an Android guy, I believe. And he went ahead in the rest of the video to sort of present really great comparable headphones for Android users um, to use on, uh, I guess, Android devices like Samsung, Google Pixel phones, whatever. Um, and all the headphones he looked at or reviewed or presented were over $100. Um, the, I think the average price was $200 for earphones, not even like over the air headphones, but like earphones like this, Bluetooth wireless earphones. Um, now, I think the prices are overinflated on these products because earphones are very disposable. And I know you and most people around you, most people, everyone that you know and everyone that I know, replace earphones. If they use earphones on a daily basis, replace these things. We replace these things once or twice a year. Um, at least I do because I either lose these things or they get damaged or they just stop working. Now, I went through a couple and I was actually using my Apple, um, my wired headphones for my iPad. I was, I was also using the uh, Samsung headphones too, their earphones. So I was using wired earphones from Apple, the regular iPhone ones, and the regular Samsung ones that come with Samsung phones. I've been using that, but I wanted something wireless and Bluetooth. So I went ahead, I was at Best Buy, I looked at some of the reviews for this, and I managed to get these things, um, Bluetooth Insignia earbuds. Um, Insignia, in, Bluetooth earbuds from Insignia for $5.98 on Best Buy's eBay. They have an eBay account where they sell open box items for really, really heavily discounted um, prices. So the retail on these were $39, I believe. And you could get one of these right now from $5.99 to, I guess, $20, depending on the condition. My, my unit was an open box. And everything was in the box, it was brand new, it's just that I guess maybe someone returned it. It's a returned item. But these are the best earphones. I got these last September uh, 2017, and I've been using these on my Samsung Galaxy phones, as well as my iPad here for the last six months, and I love these things. They're really lightweight, really easy to use. The sound quality is great because not only does the sound com coming out of these is, I think, comparable to Apple earphones, which are really good sound, but they, the way it's designed, I guess, it depends on your air shape, the shape of your air canal. It seals out ambient sounds. And I live and work around Manhattan, New York City, where everything's loud. So I think I've kind of tested these in the loudest, the subway, New York City subway system, the harshest condition for, I guess, sound quality and um, blocking out ambient sound. But what I like about these, they don't seal you out from the outside. They just sort of filter it a little bit. So. You kind of can hear some things like a fire truck or if something like a car is coming towards you and someone's honking. You do hear those things, but it's not loud. It doesn't interfere with the music. Now, I like that better to some systems that seal you out completely where you don't hear anything. And those guys, they get hit by taxis or whatever. Because in a city like this, you, you want to be aware of your surroundings at the same time. So I like that these sort of seal out the sounds, but let some sound in, as well as providing great quality sounds. Now, I'm going to flip the camera around to show you guys a close-up view of these awesome earbuds. Like I said, you can get these. I think Amazon also sells them. But make sure you get the Insignia brand. And I believe that's just a Best Buy store brand um, Insignia. As um, I've only ever seen Insignia brand items sold at Best Buy. So I'm assuming they're affiliated with Best Buy in some sort of way. So let's flip the, uh, flip the phone around, flip my camera around, and we'll take a closer look at these uh, awesome earphones here. So... Right off the back, you get the box. Um, not much in the box. My box is not coming with the instruction manuals, but actually, let me put this down so I can use two hands. <laughs> and, uh, so you get the box here. My box didn't come with much. Uh, the manual, like I said, was missing, which is fine because it's so easy to pair this thing to any device that you have. It pairs with iOS as well as Android, so it's a perfect uh, if you have a... Uh, an iPad, like I do, and I have a, a Galaxy phone, it works well. So it comes with a basic charger. It charges um, via a USB micro um, port here. It's a little rubber flap, which I don't even think is necessary, but I guess it protects water and stuff from getting in there. And this is sweat-proof and water-resistant as well, so it's kind of really cool that it gives that. So you could charge it with your computer or just using your phone charger. You could just charge that. Real simple. Uh, it comes with a little carry case. I believe this 
would have been something was missing. I think this would have been would have included like a glass or a cover, a clear cover there, but mine's was missing. Again, open box, but I don't really use any of that. It also comes with if you have weird shaped airs, it comes with these um these um I guess covers or skins for the air piece portion of it. Something I don't really use and I don't think I've taken these out yet actually because they fit right into my ears. Like I said, if you used Apple Air phones, wired ones, the, the design is identical. So if earphones fit in your ears at one point from Apple, the Apple um, iPhones, earphones, whatever, um, then this will fit in your ears. The only thing is the Insignia ones are lightly, slightly chunkier, but I think that chunky design allows it to seal out the ambient sound more so than the Apple um, earphones here. And the Apple iPod earphones, whatever, the wireless ones, are designed identical to the old wired uh, Apple earphones, AirPod, I forgot what they call it. Uh, so uh, you get similar design and the sound quality is similar too as well. Great sound quality out of both these um, earphones here. So you see that. So only key differences is the speaker outlet on the Insignia ones are horizontal. It's and it faces into your ear, where else the whereas the Apple ones, they're vertical and they kind of face, I guess they go right when you put that in, it goes right in your ear canal. Whereas these, you put this in, it goes, it also goes into your ear canal from an angle. So you can see that, so how the sound is going in there. Apple also includes an extra like, thing right there. I'm not sure what that's for. Uh, as well as slits on the top are included. Now, the stem is thinner on the Insignia, whereas on the uh, Apple products, it's thicker there. But um, same, same idea there. Now, to pair this, it's real easy to pair out the box. I, mine didn't come with instructions, but I did it. It's common sense. You hold this button down for a long time, and you hold it to turn it on for three seconds. Hold it for 10 seconds to pair. So once you pair, you I open up my iPad here, and I hate iOS devices that you have to go into settings to pair a Bluetooth item. So the Bluetooth is on. And it will be Insignia and that that's the pairing code there and you connect and that's that simple. There's no extra thing to do. Double tap this to uh, fast forward a track. Single tap um, skips a track. Uh, hold turns down the volume. Same thing here. Up the volume. Skip a track forward. Um, so forth. So it's real simple. It works in both iOS and Android devices. Highly recommend these. Uh, I paid $5.98. You can still find these online. They, I think they discontinued these. I'm not sure. I haven't been to a Best Buy store in a while, but I believe they discontinued these for last year. But you can still find these open box items for under $20. So it's a really great value. I bought three of these, so I know I'll lose one this year and I'll have one for next year, um, just in case I can't find them. But really great value for the money. Highly recommend these. Do not go spend. I don't recommend it's your money, but I won't recommend spending $200, $150. My wife does it, so I mean, I can't really say anything against it, you know, but uh, I don't recommend it because I know I would lose it and I would be worried half the time wearing the things that I spent so much money on them that I could lose them, they could get stolen or whatever. So I uh, highly recommend these really good quality uh, earbuds for the sound. I've been using this for six months and still in good condition. I've used this when I um, went jogging at night. I use this in the gym. Um, different environments, I use it on an airplane, on vacation, um, and they held up. Highly recommend them. Very simple to use. My only gripe would be this um, command thing is a little chunky compared to, I uh, put it next to the Apple one. It's a little chunky, but you don't notice it after the first um, first day of wearing it. So it's, you know, that's it, guys. A little uh, stuff in that there in the back. And that's it, guys.